Uh, yeah, there is like a, a like two slight changes. All right. Just, Wait, where, where is it? <coughs> what do you see? Oh, sorry. What is it? I read it again. Yeah, go down a little bit. I want to make sure that's <coughs> Yes, that's it. Can I pull this up? Yeah. You know, just a special request. Could you slow on the tags and authors? Yeah. Thank you. Framework. Ethics is divided between ideal and non-ideal. Ideal theories are abstracted to a universe of one. Non-ideal theories grounded in material condition, conditions prefer non-ideal theory. One abstractly detaches from the real world. There's a nice new possibility to understand ethics mills. Ethics is concerned with the ideal, but this wouldn't work on as well as applied can because the ideal supposed to be achieved. Talk, nobody would be detached from the prescriptive the argument. It cannot be this matter of definition or truth. Second, abstract ethics and our social realities, which in turn contradicts ideals. No bit of ideals aren't created separately from the ideal social, social norms that govern us because those influence what we count as an ideal in the first place. Mills two. If we start from the ultimate point of ethics, the framework would be deeply, deeply empathetical to the proper goal of ethics and modern society. We on a case where abstract Away from the crucial world, a competition actually works as if it doesn't never guarantee ideal party would never be achieved. Three, ideal theory glosses over issues of structure domination that reifies the pressure power structures and skews out with the arising those three. Ideal theory ignores pressure and probably weak in a sharp way and assume more cognizance to be equal. Well, then, no things regarded by the group based social goal bottom. Non ideal theory recognizes that people will be affected by the social location and moral views can be leveraged against non ideal theory because they sharply skew the perspective of the social view, lack of permission to make things about morality. Thus, the standard is resisting material inequality to clarify minor communities that material conditions should be the starting point, not ideal stations because those presuppose a subject absent no material constraints. We have to equal other playing field before we. Can act on ideal ethics independently, one questioning the you normative know, structure and equality systems for religion only function to make it be on safety hand. Arguments about questioning the assuming space where the safety question that is not true for one question the broad and say race and flexible etc. make debate on safety and people people who face actual effects and not question those assumptions make debate build around the idea that they can as well. So make to the same same things that in debate makes some safe have after reconstruction people are clearly from the starting the card. Their second education is always decided in politics because it functions to indoctrinate into a form of reasoning, but it can never be neutral. Either uh, you either oppressor resistant because not resistant oppressor structures only reentrenches oppression by allowing them to normalize with they do shawl. There is no such thing as a new new to education. It either functions to facilitate the integration of generation to the logic of narcissism or it becomes to be uh, critically real. There will uh, uh, to discover what uh, works to make transformation of the world. This will conflict with our society and contribute to information new era and impact how one working within politics is inevitable and necessary failure to engage in political process leads uh, political decisions to authoritative leads, which verifies the press power structures bombs. To the kind of politics here opposed to a great tool psychological current scrutinized here as this words and problems will go with solve the sugar political part of the social ideas which some have to be apart from the space uh, can be filled by authoritative leads already for me to dynamic as in country second no intent for site distinction mental states have no bearing on action. Enoch. Think about what they're seeing suffering patient and deadly does support and hard to relieve her. Uh, uh, they're paying the physician, enjoys the preferred pleasure, killing the patient. They proceed the event. Uh, uh, the patient will be relieved. But that, uh, that is not why they act. The agent. <coughs> Mental states are relatively more permissibility. The action, the intended, and the intent for safe distinction is without more weight inherency. State are decided to prevent guns on college campus now. Only 19 states currently have bans, but the set square proves that number will decrease in CSL 15. States are considering the permit on guns on college campus in 2013. 19 states introduced legislation to allow concealed carry on campus in 2014. At least 14 introduced similar legislation. There are 19 states that banned carrying on weapons on college campus. 23 states of decisions made by each college individually. Eight half of uh, eight half provisions on carrying on weapons on police campus. And gun lobbies are currently pushing for guns on campus. Read on COCO 15. The gun lobbies do not push bills on state legislature across the country that would allow guns on college campus. Florida, there are pushing five bills that would force all college to allow allow guns on uh, all guns on campus. We can't uh, let these bills get in front of the bills from moving through legislation. 14 other states advocacy tests. The 50 states and all colleges ought to ban private ownership of handguns in college campus. We must take a stance against the gun lobby now. The campaign to keep guns on campus rights. American colleges under attack the uh, gun lobby. The gun lobby legislation with thought students to possess the handguns in classroom weird colleges across the country to ban together to oppose the gun lobby legislation that would ban the handguns on campus. The resolution will provide the lobby to set a station of opposition to such legislation. And states are effectively, despite uh, states are effective despite Congress, they have successfully passed handgun legislation on both sides, making especially in the context of college campaigns. Uh, 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 Muscal. With gun laws esteemed in Congress, they are stepping into the void after the Sandy Coast New York and Connecticut passed straight to laws that are appeals for a public and provisionalized law for Sandy Sentence, and Sentence, or Constitution. We have a uh, weird state number state that should say it's keeping it covered. But uh, uh, Jay Brown's handed law that banned the concealed weapons on the college campus. Measures similar pressures are being stated in Florida, Michigan, Ohio. They say that was an important battle on the college theater, gearing up to 2016. More states black and crowd crowds and cross party lines. Offense. College students are vulnerable to rape handguns, would only get the attacker and ensure them with a sense of security for future crimes. Keonis. More than 97 students are surprised by alcohol related sexual assault. Clown college students carry guns on open and it increases in if you have a rape situation, it would be nearly impossible to run from guns. Someone who is raped before they can feel secure and empirics follow off long guns on college campus have statistically increased rape crime status. Uh, uh, states who currently have that are experiencing a decrease in cases, uh, making the advocacy key. Rindle. 
The rate of forcible rate all couches as a rate of recently enacted campus carry clause to resigning the alarm rate after public college in Colorado where forcible allowed campus carry the rate of rate of thirty six percent. Utah the assistance of flush uh fluctuated fourteen percent. Meanwhile, the national average was uh it's still decreasing the increasing guns that they're producing so and this always a consistent with the general trend is in the broader context of sexual assault, handguns have statistically aided the attacker Finley. Since most sexual assault security students are not going to all undergoing the influence of having guns actually make the situation worse. So rate rates are consistently high in the states where gun ownership is also high. The presence of a gun has been estimated and the risk of homicide five hundred percent. B the NRA gun industry have manipulated data for years, change of public perception, which makes uh, a negative statistics unreliable. Based on the NRA and the gun industry have said, I'll uh, let the uh, general public on the statistics that they said this is quoted by the experts that 17 to 20 percent of well, women who can over this whole uh, soar as high as 43 uh, percent of birthday women gun owners have 11.68 uh, are effectively created the perception that everybody's doing it. So, uh, 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 so should you have ever there? And uh, the NRA is wrong. It's extremely rare to use a gun in self defense. Two, that's right. Dangerous. Right? Uh, these survivors are going to be able to have a gun or think enough to use the statistics proves that guns are really used for self defense in this type of situation for the area. Uh, that yeah, there are 200. 30 homicides involved with firearm and self defense. BB, uh, on the BBC, often uh, only pointed out presented by the crimes of all the firearm for self defense and most sexual assault security within the relationship between the gun and knowledge and unlikely strategy for self defense. Family, two students, uh, also, uh, uh, studies do not bear, uh, uh, bear out of our being survivors of self and sexual assault in part because most of uh, people in a uh, uh, dating relationship it's unlikely that they will arm themselves with a weapon uh, uh, before handing to their partner. And finally, an increase of handguns as a response to rape only promotes victim blaming, which kills any reform by deflecting attention from the rapist Smith. Telling a rape survivor to carry a gun isn't rape prevention. These would be remedies that exacerbate the problem, making survivors responsible for preventing their own, own attacks instead of putting the onus on the previous will take the attack attention from most of the people who are coming to rape someone uh, the rape is, uh, someone the victim knows. Serious. What did you say? Yeah. Alright, so let's go to the blind text. Sure. Uh, how do colleges or how do colleges ban private ownership? So I'm uh, well that is clarified by the plan. It is, uh, and it's also clarified by the second plank, which is that they must take a stance. The argument is that who are, the people who take the stance are the colleges. The people who ban through Congress and legislation is the uh, states. The, the, literally, the, the advocacy, um, the solvency advocate clarifies everything. It says that, uh, and the second uh, part of the plank is we must take a stance. The argument is that colleges will take a stance against it, then send that resolution <coughs> to policymakers. Policymakers will enact legislation given the request of the colleges. Okay, but it's only, is it banned on college campuses? That's the advocacy. Only on college campuses? College campuses. Okay. So, how is it then a ban, right? It just seems, or how is it like a ban of private ownership? Because it seems that they can still own the gun, or own the handgun. So they just can't have it on campus. Well, that would be outside, but the arguments are talking about, well, first of all, the impacts are, are happening in college campuses. All the evidence is about college campuses. Right, but right? Is, so if you how, is this it, how, are, how is there a private ownership ban? What do you mean? Oh, how because, well, uh, uh, well, it depends how you interpret ownership. I interpret ownership to be the, the possession of something. So if I ban uh, guns, uh, all I have to prove is that I banned the possession of guns in a certain area. So, for instance, uh, well, yeah, the legal dictionary also defines but, uh, ownership as possession. So, if you're not allowed to possess a gun in college campuses, that would qualify as a ban under that interpretation. So you, what, if you have a conflicting interpretation, go ahead and read it, but... Okay, so let's go to the framework. Sure. Uh, or actually, just as a whole of these, is there anything that can extend to exclude certain portions or automatically return? Is there any opportunities? Uh, it depends. It, it's all. Resp it depends on what the one C one C does. Like for instance, if you read a property rights in C, I can extend Enoch as a reason as to why the property rights in C collapses to the AC. If right. No, are there any reasons independent of the AC, the, like or like the AC framework? And the there's nothing in the AC framework that is an independent reason for me to win. Okay. I have to win offense back to the framework. That's how debate works. All right. So uh, let's go through the. Let's go actually go through the uh, the T man argument. The arguments under the standard. Sure. Right. Or what does resisting material inequalities mean? It just means that. Well, I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. It means that if there is a material inequality, we should not perpetuate it. We should resist it. That is how we evaluate offense for the post the debate. Right. So. A material inequality would be some people having guns, others not. No, 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 no. It's not some people having guns. It's that people are getting raped, and there's like, you know, that is something that is material. It happens in the real world. People's bodies are being violated. That is a material condition that does not allow, uh, like, everyone to cognize in the same way because certain people have faced certain types of situations that do not allow them to morally theorize, like someone who Kant, like someone, for example, like Kant wants us to. Okay. So that is the material inequality. That
Oh, before you prep out your key shell, um, here is a response that I forgot to say in CX. Uh, constitutionally, and this is in the app as well, uh, what has happened is that the Supreme Court has led, it, uh, has led certain colleges to actually take the individual stance, so it's agnostic to 23 states, and so those 23 states currently in the status quo have constitutional right to legally ban in their campus. So that would be a way that the college is yeah, an actor of banning. Can I go drink water? Yeah. What's the order? Uh, NC2 obviously. NC2 obviously. Yeah. The standard consistent property express precondition value in truth, false, immoral, offensive capacity, engage, and everything. Things that we prove through a false course of argument. Any attacks against moral worth or can concedes validity because presupposed capacity for that argument is a condition of argumentation that people have the ability to set their own ends. Ah. A mutual argument which means exclusive uh, exclusive control over his own body must be assumed to exist in order to provide argumentation that everybody has the right of control over his own body only as long as it's raising, correcting as a possible person to be agreed to what's second argument, and hence can what has been said be validated. Whether the person thinks that this is simply going to be justified, this is in order to be justified that nobody has the right to validate the aggressive body of another person. And this comes to prerequisite any other firm of justification, sole justification that already implicitly conceded. The ability of self-ownership of the computer just finds an argument that the inconsistent with the standard should reject the argument because they didn't reflect the initial premise that argument is found on. Second, recognition property is a way in which we recognize others' creation, which is based upon the claim. Sharding. Relation is bred mutually with respect to one another's practical agents. We necessarily involve property because property depends on the recognition of other people. But I must recognize that excess control of why must not interfere because why also recognize the exit of the person without protection of that freedom. Third, uh, property creates moment of value and creates a new set of conflicting claims. Ripsing. Acquired property is something that one person does for change in order situation while others are acts or formally from are not are not forbidden. If you acquire a and I can no longer use it or interfere with it, acquired property is a unilateral act through which one person changes the normal situation of the assets the acquisition of property property presupposes political authority. I can end the affirming doesn't respect the property of individuals first. A bail on the hand that certainly tells the individual must give up the hand they currently own in the quo. Many people uh, do around the country of hand so they don't need to be complicated. The other is available to work in confiscation property values, property rights. People have basic entitlements for property currently owned to the absolute respect the entitlement and right. And second, in the future, people lose the ability to gain property supposed to be that of hand that people don't own hand that also lose their the property because they can no longer gain access to hand that they're making a hand for they wouldn't have the right to make to hand so they would lose the right to their property. Uh, next up. In DC, we held that the Second Amendment protected the right to handguns. Oh, yes. The court held that the uh, Second Amendment protected the right to possess a firearm, and used a firearm for traditionally lawful purposes. The court based on the holding of the text of the Second Amendment as well as applicable in the state constitution of the student of the Second Amendment. And McDonald and Chicago also proved the same. Oh, yes. The Supreme Court held, uh, held the uh, held the Fifteenth Amendment to make the state of the Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms for the purpose of the applicable to the state's rights. And our fundamental nations keep war for the regard that the duty of the nation's history and tradition are appropriately applied to the states throughout the Fourteenth Amendment because it's holding a held that the Second Amendment applies to the states as well. Easy interpretation. On, on this topic, the affirmative advocacy must contain points that specify actions of 
sufficient to overcome Supreme Court rulings. These are violations. We can call uh, Congress after sex, after random civil liberties. Just talk about sale. Fifty states have to ban the right to ban, ban the private ownership of handguns on college campuses. It doesn't specify how they're going to overturn Supreme Court rulings, or even if they are. In C standard or C standard, the one in reference to the application should force me from the to clearly articulate the articulate the points and trade the apple double and not be able to shift the application. Clearly, consent to the firm will have to solve the problem. Now I know it. Place the application double and if you accept my interpretation and reject the application because the bill is strong, I don't affirm it. If you reject my interpretation, are being credited with two points that make it impossible for me to interact with the application. I don't know what it is. It's only supercharges the abuse. Prevent the application. Key to fairness. No one will argue for my point because we're having equal opportunity when they're not. And if he does, if he doesn't cover how the application becomes a court case, I can predict whether you'll get the next speech explained why offense doesn't link. This destroys my ability to form a coherent strategy with key to fairness because we need to form the truth decision to have a shot at the ballot. Next, real one. The concept of the app will be able to ban handguns without overturning Supreme Court rulings is unheard of under the supremacy clause. Any laws passed by the federal government have to be followed, and states can't ignore them. So, as far as the Supreme Court, or as far as the Supreme Court has ruled against handguns, so the app is legitimate absent points by saying overturning Supreme Court rulings. Rule one controls the internal to all the tribute arguments. Back to academic, uh, academics aren't written for debate. So, assuming a special notion, what we, we, we should talk about around the debate, the hidden disconnect between how we use terms and how our others do, which is bad, real world, QD education, and ensures that the argument may have actual relevance. These are the voter. Fairness voter debate is a kind of good design term to better adjudicating up for this only terms of arbitrarily advanced education. So, voting is the reason schools under debate these issues for picking interpretation. Reason voting for judgment and judgment of the fair is a reason drop the very fair future views. Drop the argument is not sufficient because the entire position violates also the value of the theory of debate after the two error, not the two error, because one item of the error, so the value of the theory of debate after the two error is construction of the stand. Second, point out two error, and shift extrapolation to respond to the two error. Second, time to be the app is seven minutes each time between three minutes, two error, four minutes, one error, while only have six minutes, two error. At worst, even if you don't structure to conclude two error, this means you should err and I go theory of it's closely counter off the app advantage. Also, two error the is always illegitimate because it uh, is always illegitimate because the apple always went to where the I have no fear. I can take arguments. Assume true. He the, he will have the chance to win the one hour. For example, I think he sense of principles education. He, he doesn't do the next negative piece. Just five arguments. Only if we come to the existing disadvantage. We can be specific for myself. Don't drop your turn to come to the disadvantage. This also points to the reasons why my shell comes first. My piece is just adaptation for compensation. Next up. A is the interpretation. The affirmative for uh, the affirmative for needs to show banning private ownership of handguns. B is a violation. You don't have to do this. He tries to say that he's going to be banning of uh, There's going to be banning uh, or restricting the handguns on the college campus. It's not a, it's not a ban. Go see Sanders text. Uh, private ownership defined as the fact of uh, the the fact of being owned by a private individual organization rather than a state or a public body is, is extremely problematic. He's defining he's using college campuses restricting the handguns only on campus to be uh, to be uh, preventing a private ownership of handguns, but it is not preventing private ownership because the individuals who would no longer have the owner who would no longer have the handgun on campus would still not would still be able to own own the handgun in the first place. Well, as if I leave if I leave my computer at home, it still means that I own my computer just because it's not with me at a certain location. Does not mean that I've lost ownership of it. And, and text keys, you know, can text keys, the only thing that we have in terms of the resolution before we can actually make any sort of this is, uh, uh, it's the only thing that we have. We're coming to the round of the text resolution key is going to be uh, it's also key to education because it, uh, it's key to education the only thing we have next to stable obviously. By not specifying what by not specifying what what the interpretation or what, what how he's banning high private ownership of the handguns, he makes it extremely easy. He's, he's able to shift that argument to disadvantage to the app advocate in the first place. He can always kind of say he's not talking about that type of problem, or he's not talking about talking about a specific type of ban, but rather another type of ban. <laughs> so far he's not specifying what the actual or what the or what the actual restriction is or how they're actually gonna be stopping the private ownership that, that allows him to shift that on the Voting across by the voter from the next, uh, from the from the uh, other show. Go specifically to the AC. Uh, go to the education argument. Um, the Shaw card. <coughs> Off the shelf, or don't let them apply this to the debate. The odds are it's just something that education is the policy, but the, uh, how education can never be neutral. But it's, it's not a question of education being neutral, it's, it's rather a question of us ensuring that the best type of education is sat in round. It's not a question of neutral education, rather just oh, overall greater, greater education. I'm saying that he, we can have the education he's talking about, the affirmative world. This is where he's just talking about things that we can actually overcome in the real world, such as overcoming Supreme Court rulings. Don't let, so don't, don't let him use it to ex exclude uh, my office. Go to the framework. Off of the frame, he's going to try to extend. He's going to try to extend Mills and use it as ways. So why property rights is going to be an abstract thing, but no property rights is not abstract. We're really talking about the fundamental thing: whether individuals have a right to property or whether or not they don't have a right to property. It's not, it's not an abstract. It's not a separating from real world issues. Not a, it's, not, it's not doing any, or it's, Yeah, it's not separating from real world issues. So it's not a question of. Um, uh, yeah, it's just saying if people have property. It's real, so it's not separating from that. Go to the level. Where's the offense? Off of the offense, the, the offense can be 100 percent for his arguments about why handguns are actually going to be, or why giving people handguns, if giving the victims handguns, it will always lead to victim image. But no, it's not a question of blaming the victims. Rather, it's a question of allowing, them, uh, giving them help that they can use in order to, in order, uh, in order to combat the, the other, the other, uh, in order to combat the, uh, the, the sexual assault that's happening. They, uh, if once they have access to the handgun, they can use it to their own protection. It's not a question of victim blaming. Rather, it's just a question of trying to find the best method to, you know, it's, it's trying to find the best method to liberate for the, to stop the oppression that's happening. Also, go to, um, go to. The 
be a familiar argument talking about like when having a handgun for self defense. <coughs> the problem with that there's only martial defense like, against the fact that a handgun can actually solve for individuals to, or allow individuals to fight back against activities rather than it's only saying that in, in terms of relationship. But no, this is not specific relationship. Uh, it's not specific relationship. Having a handgun, uh, having uh, allowing handguns can allow individuals in all cases to in all or in all cases to fight back. Okay. Do you have an alternative to solve for rape victims? Uh, do I have an alternative? Yes. Uh, what, so, is your alternative that the status quo solves? I'm not saying that the status quo solves. Right? Do you I'm have a to... mechanism to solve for the people who are being under material conditions in the status quo now? Uh, probably not. I'm just saying that we could. I'm just saying like the affirmative itself is not a good place. Okay. So your argument against Finley was that it causes more deaths, right? Uh, no, I said Finley said that like, at the very least, right? Because that's only like marginal. Defense. Wait, <coughs> wait. How, why is your response not defense? Well, yeah, of course that argument was a preempt, but you did not respond to the offense, right? Uh, what do you mean? You only responded to the victimization contention, which was the Smith card, the last one, but you did not respond to the offense, which is that it decreases rate. Uh, not the Finley. That was right, defense. Yeah. That was preemptive. Right. So you did not contest the offense. No. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so let's talk about this uh, first interpretation. Actually, uh, which interpretation comes first? Uh, I don't agree. Would you like to do it? Mm, no, it's fine. What voter do you use? Uh, sure, so I use fairness and education. Uh, can, you, uh, can you say education comes first? Can I say education comes well, first? Well, I want you to say education comes first. I will not say education comes first. Okay. Do you, uh, can you wait between them? I can wait between them. Which one would you would come first? Uh, do you want, can you say fairness comes first? No, sure. Uh, yeah, or fairness, fairness comes first. Thank you for that. Okay, um, so let's talk about the... Okay, so your interpretation is that I have to meet Supreme Court rulings, right? Yeah. So what is the McDonald versus Chicago analysis? Uh, what is the Supreme Court? Sure, so McDonald versus Chicago established... During that, the Supreme Court established that the 14th Amendment means that rules or the ideas of the federal government, the laws that the federal government passes, also apply to state governments. So it's not sufficient for you to say that. Wait, um, when was this? When was it? Yeah. Uh, two thousand nine. Okay. Well, you conceded that just in October, about three <coughs> weeks ago, uh, constitutional rulings, federal constitutional rulings, said that the plan is constitutional. Does that mean I meet your inter? Uh, I don't think so. Because you still don't talk about overcoming the Supreme Court rulings, right? Well, you said your interpretation still, that says on this topic, the affirmative DC advocacy must contain plans that specify action sufficient. Uh, to overcome Supreme rulings. So if it does not come in conflict with other Supreme Court rulings, why can't it overcome, oh, like, why can't it compensate for it? Right, but you have to be specific about, like, how it would overcome the Supreme Court rulings, right? I well, just, if it doesn't violate, why is there an overcoming? Like, for instance, I mean, that's a show for, for instance, for, clearly DC versus LA and McDonald versus Chicago. Wait, 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 so true. how do I overcome something that there is not a violation to? There is the violation. That's what DC versus Chicago, or DC versus Heller and McDonald versus Chicago established. So if I prove that they're, so if I prove that the app is constitutional, how do I link into the show? Uh, if you show that the app is constitutional, yes. How do I link into the you show? You have to specifically show that it's yes. I, I know. It's how do I link by into the Supreme Court? That yes, by mean. the Supreme Court. How do I show it's constitutional? I mean, how do I show? Uh, how do I make? A, if you can show that it is allowed by the Supreme Court, <coughs> the specific overturning and banning handguns then that would be sufficient under the, to meet the interpretation. Why can't it be a federal court? Because the Supreme Court is the one that ruled the Supreme Court has the highest law. Okay, but what if the Supreme Court hasn't uh, overturned the federal rule? Oh, okay, sorry. Um, starting from, oh wait, wait sorry. Starting from, uh, what, do, what do you defend in uh, the property rights and Do you defend the world of the, of the status quo? Uh, do you want me to? Yes.
We are only standards for text and stable advocacy, right? For the second show? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, stop 104. Uh, so the order is going to be uh, case starting top down, and then it's going to be uh, going to the first shell. There's going to be an overview on the first shell, uh, then it's going to be the second shell. Okay. And then uh, the end scene. Okay. Also, can I run to drink water before this video? Yeah. So we're going to start with case. Okay. Uh, it's going to be the framework, uh, the first Mills card. Then it's going to be with, and then it's going to go just down. Okay. Um, yeah, it's good. Two sh two T shells in the same order, and yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is everyone ready? Extend those abstraction detachments for the real which nice and impossible to understand. I think your only argument is that property rights is not an abstraction because it deals with property, but it also is talking about how we justify our philosophies. I obviously agree about property rights says that everyone is equal because we are morally cognize, but it doesn't take into account how some people are probably screwed in terms of property and they need to overcompensate. Obviously, property rights is a very white type of framework then, but yeah, most importantly, you still consider the tea canon house as a co conceded in the case that uh, you should gut check oppression, which means that if I have an internally get to oppression, it's a game over issue, so you can see it often, so uh, you can see it often, extend the. Uh, extend the, uh, extend the, uh, but, sorry. Extend the QNS now since I call students are vulnerable rape. The only uh, answer to the end, uh, the only answer to the anti, which was defense, uh, is problematic when you conceded uh, offense. And you only, uh, you only, uh, you only, uh, you only answer the victimization one, but that was an independent offense. He uh, also co conceded the QNS now since in the case that statistically it, uh, it, it decreases rate because in Utah there was 36%. So uh, I'll then go to the uh, theory. 
Overview. Theoretical objections specifically against liberation strategies function to reify oppressive systems, charges by ignoring various material conditions debated from A.K. Smith. Competitors attempt to win by rushing to attraction to the decency conversation for the material reality that debaters are forced to deal with everyday community ignores our have compared to intellectual denials that are made up. All two of debaters are breaking the A.C. part because it's the only constructive strategy to acknowledge the reality of the press also. If I win the A.C. frame, that's the reason that's why it always being tried to theory. Then on your first show, I need cross apply Moose Federal Courts have up no state bans on hand the Constitution. This was in October until the Supreme Court overturned the state ban, specifically the Constitution. Often follows out second I need DC versus Taylor only applies to uh, the home leaving room for gun control in places like colleges mirrors. The High Court affirmed individual rights to own a firearm in D.C. derived their actions when it confined and also suggested the home leaving the space of gun control controls as including in sensitive places such as schools. It's also is specific to your D.C. versus Heller analysis and also always the other court because it's from 2008 which means it's the most recent a court a ruling said second a third I mean no amendment no amendment including the second amendment are uh, absolutely you can uh, you can bear arms only as under certain uh, circumstances this is why not everyone is rather, uh, allowed to have a rocket launcher. The act is only a ban on certain circumstances not a uh, bad threat to the bill itself or I need the act Legal prohibition of a gun to be outlawed passes constitutional uh, uh, constitutionality or against the presumed necessity of legal measures are in place. And uh, uh, five, you can see that the NCSL House indicates that states currently have this power. Twenty-three states are agnostic on this issue, so uh, uh, that that is given by the federal court. So uh, uh, then, counterpartition on this uh, on, on this topic, the affirmative advocacy does not have to contain plans. Uh, what well, if I don't meet the shell counter interpretation on this topic? The affirmative advocacy does not have to contain plans that specify the sufficient to overcome Supreme Court rulings. So, uh, uh, this would make it impossible to affirm because of it's true. Uh, if it's true, if, if it's true that uh, Supreme Court has uh, ruled it down that it causes infinite violations of fairness because uh, it, infinite violations of fairness because you would never be able to affirm or, or, or second even if you could it just means that the one is out there it means that the end teacher is going to read it of seven minutes of primary because the contention office is pretty uh, uh, straight clean which means that uh, he said fairness comes first and uh, there he said fairness comes first this is the uh, this is the reason that's why you cause uh, uh, you cause infinite amount of fairness and on the shed on the second shell uh, 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 of the second shell counter interpretation the act of uh, uh, the resolution by banning the possession of guns on college campus definitional support black laws dictionary defines ownership as a claim of title which intending of claiming and holding which is that it has to do with possession, the net benefit is legal education. Uh, 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 legal education, the, uh, uh, it's more legal education. The equivalent of any other interpretation is specific to the topic and it's a prerequisite. The context change uh, changes the definition, makes sense or prerequisite to evaluate the interpretation. Talking about uh, 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 and uh, the legal actually. Uh and second, legal education is also key to know how the topic would be uh, done because the topic occurs in the court. Uh, legal standard, if we don't know how the laws are in the books, then we wouldn't know how the topic would be done. Uh, also, uh, on his standards, your first standard, uh, your first standard is textuality. But first, you uh, uh, first uh, it begs the question of which uh, textual interpretation you pick first. That is determined by the standard. Second, you literally do not have a textual definition. This is a reason as to why I uh, would be winning. You do not provide a right resolution. Then your second argument is stable advocacy. Yeah, uh, like stable advocacy. My interpretation checks back this because it would be uh, I'll say why uh, I it would only be in college campus. It's not shifting because I, you can hold me to my advocacy then on property rights. So obviously, I won the framing debate, but even then, one term guns itself is a violation of property rights. They rape uh, uh, they rape people's fallen bodies. That is the reason that's why we can rectify a violation of property rights. Second day, uh, if you don't a gun to just not on college campus, it means that. Uh, oh, wait, uh, uh, actually, cut that argument. Cut it out. Uh, so, uh, second, on you said you defend the status quo. There's regulations in the status quo right now, which means that. Uh, 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 and culture can have a college campus is banned right now, which means that there's also violations of property rights. Okay, yeah. Do you have the def that legal definition? Yeah. I see the mirrors card. The, the which one? The mirrors, the second idea. Oh, yeah. So the order is going to be my shell. Or starting with the overview, the theory versus the K overview. Then it's going to be the uh, the 
Supreme Court shall let me understand. <clears throat> okay, wait, sorry. Wait. So, starting off on his overview, okay. then it's going to be the first shall I read, then the second shall. Okay. Uh, on Smith, one, you can cross find the argument against this education argument on the AC, where I specifically talked about how I am actually making better form of education because I'm increasing the education. I'm also not really, I'm not really, uh, I'm not addressing his, uh, the AC advocacy. I'm literally just saying that he, he can do the, the AC advocacy. He just has to ensure that he's talking about real world applications, so it's actually not going to be buddy with Smith at all. Go to the actual, go, go to OIS 1. You can extend OIS 1 to say that the teaching of the Second Amendment protected the right to hand the court held the Second Amendment protected the individual right to present a firearm. Go to OIS 2 with McDonald's Chicago have been saying that the Supreme Court held the 14th Amendment makes the Second Amendment apply to all states because federal law is, it falls, uh, the actual national law is going to fall out uh, before coming forward like state laws themselves. That's what OIS 2 establishes. Go to the interpretation of the case and all the stuff the affirmative act of the affirmative act is supposed to think like this much by uh, an action sufficient to overcome Supreme Court rulings. They extend the violation. He doesn't talk about Supreme Court rulings. Well, he tries to be go to do that means first off, Muscov. Muscov is only talking about is only talking about state government themselves, the state government not applying or passing laws. That's still not sufficient to overcome the Supreme Court rulings. The Supreme Court is always going to cover his neck off. The other, he says that it only applies to the home, but this is the problem is that no, that is only talking about gun control. The court of the card itself is talking about gun control. It's not a question of banning guns or banning private ownership of guns. It's just saying that we have regulation like which is definitely allowed. Uh, it's not banning into the shell as well. That is the other argument. He says that no event, no amendment says handgun. It's, it's not even a question of handgun. In support of the amendment, talking about firearms itself. That, that means that the handgun falls under the firearm. And so it's still, he still has to talk about overturning the Supreme Court ruling. It's not a question that there's not a reason as to why he meets. That's uh, the fourth argument. He says it's always legal measures that you can take. The, 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 the Apple always takes legal, legal measures. But no, he is not taking legal measures. He's just saying that these states will, he doesn't think the states will uh, control, control gun laws or control gun regulation or have gun regulation on, on college campuses. But no, that is not sufficient. That is not specific to how he's going to overcome Supreme Court ruling. And the first and then the fifth argument is that he, and, and the end, you can see that the states have this power. But no, that is still functioning only on the state government. And so far, on, on the state laws, and so far, you the OIS 2. That means that national laws can come first. And the national law, the national law demands, or demands the, state, the state laws follow that. So go to the actual uh, library, or the in terms of the standard. So you can extend real world saying the concept of the app would be able to be able to ban hand without overturning you to overturn your Supreme Court ruling unheard of because under the supremacy clause any any laws passed by the federal government have to be followed the state's government and so far as the Supreme Court has ruled against handgun bans, then the app is in legitimate absent the plank specifying uh, specifying overturning the Supreme Court ruling the extent of real control of the internal to all literature based arguments between academics are written for the research assuming a special notion of what we should talk about in, in rounds creates a hidden disconnect between how we use terms and how our authors do it, which is that go to the in round uh, in round predictability app to shift you can extend uh, you can extend that place to the app in a, in a double line because either A if you accept my interpret, then you reject the app on face because it fails to show exactly how it's gonna affect. Or B, if you reject my interpret, then they're accredited with pseudo planks that, that make it impossible for me to interact with the app in the first place because I don't know what it is, which only gonna supercharge the abuse. They said that for many apps, shifts, key friends, you can know the argument that makes sense. Free right to have an equal opportunity to debate them. Next, you can accept that friends are voting debates, kind of can be designed to have the better of injury, can't for days only in terms of arbitrary based education, but because of reason schools fund debate, except that the theories and the reason should be against the reason of the crowd, I don't know what you mean. There's also said that these can drop the better plan for a future reset, drop the argument, not to be confined to position violates. He makes a huge mistake by continuing the weight analysis coming out under that shelf. So, except that you evaluate the theory debate after the two and not the two errors, because one, I have no three errors, so evaluating the theory debate after the two errors, because we have structural disadvantage, because I can't put out new two errors, and it's also extend times giving the app at seven to speech times between three minutes, two errors, and four, and the four minute one, I only have six minutes, two errors, also extend the two errors, three errors, always illegitimate, because the app would always win two errors, three errors, there's no three errors, and extend that he had the chance to win the one error, because I think he said to French education, didn't do it then, extend that negative abuse is justified by app abuse, so the only way we can compensate for the existing disadvantage, which we can be simply saying myself, go specifically. To his counter interpretation, his counter interpretation is not better. He says that it becomes impossible for him. I'm not saying that he has to justify his back every single Supreme Court ruling. I'm just saying that all he needs to say is in the affirmative how he would over overturn Supreme Court ruling. He can say in the general how he would overturn Supreme Court ruling, but he does not do that. So it is not a question of becoming impossible to uh, impossible to affirm. Go to my other show. Extend the interpretation of the affirmative debate. He should show banning private ownership of handguns. They extend the violation. He's only showing restrictions. Then completely different. Then go to the standard of text. You can extend text saying the boot of the private ownership is from the final constitution area is the fact of being owned by a private individual or organization rather than by the state or a public body. He tries to he tries to use this black laws law as a black clause definition of what ownership is, but no, that the call for the card after that's specific to owning land, and it's only specific to ownership, not specific to private ownership in the first place. So it's a that's the case. Also just it's also just something that claiming and holding means that like possessing it. It's not a question of like it's not a question of having it with you in a certain 
second location when it says the when it says holding the law or when it says holding like a holding property, it literally means that you possess it. It's not a question of you have it in some place or not. So go to the text and uh, go back to the text. So you can you can extend you can extend that he's not actually showing that there's any sort of ban or he's not showing or he's not showing a handgun ban and extend that Texas keeps the only thing we have coming into the round uh, or it's the only thing that we actually have coming in, into the round of debate. He's conceding that the uh, the issue with the AC is that he's showing for sure about handguns and saying they're not allowed on college campuses. That's still not a ban on private ownership, because the individual would still own the handgun, regardless of if it was with them on the college campuses. And so far as he's conceding that, that means that he's not actually textual, so he clearly buys the interpretation. Additionally, he's conceding that just because if I leave something at home, I still own it, right? It's not a question of, like, I no longer own that property. That's what the, uh, that's what the definition that the act of providing is says. But next, go to his uh, legal education argument. Off of his legal education argument, his argument is not so, uh, on the counter interpretation. He says a pretty dividing mind interpretation, but no, it's not even a question of legal education. He's just talking about uh, ownership of land, and ownership, uh, ownership of land is the internal ownership of property. Also, the uh, the definition he provides himself is not sufficient reason as to uh, it is not a sufficient reason as to why you have to have the uh, to have the object with you at all times. So he is clearly going to be violated by violating this interpretation. So round breaks not very simple. He's conceding the weighing analysis is why you're going to evaluate your debate after the two end. Insofar as I'm the only person doing any sort of work, it's why text comes first. That's going to be an independent reason as to why you look to that interpretation first, and then you can vote off of that. He's also doing not enough, he's not doing enough work on the other shell as well. He tries to go for all of these I means. Remember, those I means are all specific to the state government being able to like pass those ends. But insofar as he's conceding OIS 2, which establishes the supremacy clause, saying that the 14th Amendment means that all Supreme Court rulings have to apply to the state government as well. So he's not showing how he's overturning those Supreme Court rulings. You vote neg on C. Okay. Uh, so the order is going to be uh, the order is going to be AC offense. Well, the, the same order that I did last week. So it's going to start with T hand, then it's going to start uh, offense, and then down foot. Actually, let me do some prep really quickly. <coughs> Houses and they can take your primary obligations to uh, uh, super surface safety of the basics now. You can see the Kyono's houses that call shoots in our vote of rate, which is that uh, I'm the only one uh, that Hankins would only eat the attacker, which is I'm the only one that's offense in the round now. Uh, uh, now go to the overview. The biggest mistake is that you did very little work on the Smith analysis. Extend that theoretical objection specifically against liberation standards function to reify a person's power structure by ignoring the various material conditions of debaters in states because they uh, are there because they simply just uh, uh, function as a form of gymnastics that debaters have to uh, answer to why they broke the rules. Your first argument is that uh, your first argument is that you can cross apply that it's a better form of education. Uh, it's, uh, but, the, uh, but this was responsive to uh, this was responsive uh, this was responsive to the shell analysis, not the teeth analysis. But second, this is why uh, it's a better form of education in the context of property rights, not in the context of you reading theory. This has nothing. Uh, to do with interaction, then you're, uh, then, yeah, then you say that it's real well applicable. But my argument is that abstraction is not. Uh, my, my argument is that you create an instance of abstraction because that uh, by, by reading theory, which is that you, uh, which is that you lose around on the face of with the Smith analysis. But, it, uh, but either way, you're doing a terrible job on the substance of it, on the substance of the show. So go there now. 
Accent the accent the earlier. The first time you thought you can cross my most godly federal courts and uphold state bans on mankind constitution. This was in October until the Supreme Court overturned the state bans, specifically constitutional. Often told that here, only argument is that this is a oh, this is a state law, but no, I'm talking. Oh, but no, it's a federal law that applies to the state. Uh, COVID, you know, which is that you can uh, open on the I mean, then you're uh, uh, the, then the accent the second argument that the uh, the Mears analysis uh, 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 the Mears analysis indicates that the DC versus Heather applies only to the home, which means that we can have guns in college campuses. Your only response is that uh, this is about gun control, but one that uh, uh, but one that is the point. The card is that. Uh, the, the card is that DC versus Heller is so vague that it only bans it in homes and it allows us to have gun control everywhere else. So, uh, uh, so your, your argument is actually not responsive. But second, it's about DC versus Heller, which is what you use for the violation. My argument interprets what DC versus Heller is. Which means that if it's about gun control, that just proves that there is no violation because that is the argument you went for. Then uh, I'm not going for the other. I mean, these are sufficient to win the round. Uh, uh, but still, okay, you, uh, the counter interpretation still outweighs you. Uh, you, uh, you say that it's not a question of impossibility. Uh, uh, but my argument is that if it's true that I have to prove that it can override uh, the Second Amendment at the end, if you're violating is also true. That just means that no affirmative would ever be able to affirm it. Oh, now, oh, now I made a contingency, which was that even if it's not true, that just means that the NT is going to have a, a seven-minute NT of framework debate, and that's just going to skew the one AR, which causes infinite abuse, because most NICs will always, when you concede an infinite abuse argument, which means that uh, it always in terms of fairness, then on your second show. The problem is that you only go for a textuality. Uh, uh, you only go for a textuality center, but you can see that you have no text of the interpretation. Uh, you, have, you actually do, have, do not have a definition, which means that uh, uh, which means that you do not even meet your own standard. Second, uh, a textuality is not sufficient to vote for someone. It begs the question of an external standard because every topicality show has a text, and that's now it's, it's now a question of which interpretation is better. The, the third argument is that I am old, I am the only one with a possible text of the interpretation, even if it's true. Even if uh, I'm the only one with a possible text of the interpretation, even if it's true that it's only for land, you have no uh, definition of ownership. Uh, you have no definition of ownership, which is the reason why you earn it, but also textuality is not sufficient. I'm the only one with an external standard, which is uh, legal education. You only have defense in that, which is the reason uh, uh, why I can still uh, win, because you have no other external standard absent of textuality. So here's how the round goes. Uh, Smith comes first. You did very little work. Your cross applications were about property rights, not about theory itself. You did not answer the warrant that theory itself is an abstraction, so you lose there. But I meet and counter ourselves. Good job. Thank you.